GPU prices are about to absolutely collapse. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by InnoCN and their brand new 15K 1F monitor. The 15K 1F is a 15.6 inch OLED Full HD 60 Hz 1 millisecond response time portable monitor capable of displaying 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio, and up to 400 nits of brightness. Not only that, but it has great connectivity featuring HDMI, Type-C, and USB ports on board, which makes it a great option for a wide range of devices. Plus, the included stand works great, holding it in the perfect position for gaming on the go. So if you're looking for what I would consider to be the best portable display on the market, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. Well, if you've been waiting for good news when it comes to GPU pricing, then you have definitely come to the right video because today I have a couple of really awesome stories to share with you guys that are definitely going to make your day if you've been waiting for GPU prices to come back to a reasonable level. Now, let's not waste any more time and go ahead and take a look at this first piece of information, which actually comes from the website Tom's Hardware, where they go ahead and discuss the actual component pricing in GPUs themselves, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to Tom's Hardware, they say, quote, the Office of the United States Trade Representative has reinstated 352 products into its exclusion list which governs the Chinese imports subject to increased punitive tariffs as part of the US-China trade war. The revised listing now once again excludes printed circuit boards or PCBs from the added duties. PCBs are used to manufacture motherboards, GPUs, and a range of other electronic components. The development means PCBs coming from China are now free from the 7.5 to 25 percent additional imported duties levied at them, which went into effect in January 2021 when the provisions excluding these products expired. This could, in theory, translate into lower prices for some of the best motherboards and graphics cards. So this is definitely a great piece of news here, guys, because honestly, I've seen a lot of excitement about this online, and it's not for no reason. This is not a nothing burger of a story. These tariffs, when they were implemented last year, made things just that little bit harder to actually get at a reasonable price. So getting rid of the tariffs now Although GPU prices have already been falling very, very rapidly for months at this point, it's actually only going to make it that much better. And honestly, guys, I think you're going to start to see these things take effect probably in the next couple of weeks to the next couple of months. So this isn't going to be like an overnight thing where all of a sudden GPU prices fall even harder like tomorrow. No, that's not necessarily going to be the case because we do have to keep in mind that these parts that have been coming from China, you know, it does take them a little bit of time to get them on boats and ship them over here. So over the next couple of weeks, and months, you are going to start to see, I think, the decline in GPUs only continue at a bare minimum, uh, but actually in a best case scenario, you could see the rapid decline of GPU prices actually increase significantly, which is just going to be a great thing for GPU buyers, as I think it's not going to be too much longer until we start to see these things hit their MSRPs, at least on certain models. And speaking of talking about how much time it's going to take for GPUs to hit their MSRPs, I actually have another piece of information to go over with you guys today that is very, very exciting as we finally got some information from a big box retailer talking about when they believe GPU prices are going to go ahead and hit their MSRPs, or maybe not their MSRPs, but what they consider to be an attractive price. And honestly, guys, I kind of agree with them. But before I give you my thoughts on this stuff, let's go ahead and see what they had to say about it. So according to the website Tech Radar, when they went ahead and actually interviewed Tyler Davies over at box.co.uk, here's what he had to say about GPU pricing. Quote, by the end of April, beginning of May, we should start to see things return to a more attractive price. Now, we do have to keep in mind that this is a UK retailer, so it isn't necessarily going to be one-to-one -one representative of what we're going to be seeing in the US. And honestly, guys, what I've seen personally in the US is that we are a little bit behind places like Germany and the UK when it comes to GPU pricing, but we're not that far behind. Maybe a couple weeks, maybe even up to a month behind them in terms of pricing. It seems like they are just a little bit better over there in the UK, but with this in mind, if we are going to take what he said at face value, he's basically telling us that, well, within the next month or month and a half year, we are going to start to see prices, what he considers to be attractive, which I would actually go ahead and translate into very close to their MSRPs, are going to actually happen. And honestly, again, I actually do agree with him. I think this makes a lot of sense based on the whole trends that we're seeing right now. It does seem like within the next four to eight weeks, we are going to probably see at least certain models basically at their MSRP. In fact, I wouldn't be too surprised if like specific models like the 6500 XT or maybe even 6600, which people just simply don't seem to be as interested in, do end up actually falling below their MSRP within that time frame. So yeah, if you're someone who's in the market for a GPU, it could end up being very, very attracted to buy a 
GPU in the not too distant future. But you know what? Honestly, this kind of brings up the question, when should we buy GPUs? Because with the RTX 40 series on the horizon and with a bunch of unknown factors, you know, should I be buying now? Should I be buying in a couple months? Should I not be buying at all? And I will have a full dedicated video on this a little bit in the future where I go ahead and talk about this a lot more in depth. But just to give you guys a quick answer of what I believe right now, Honestly, I still do think it's worth waiting. Now, there is some concern because Ethereum prices are rising, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal with proof of stake on the horizon, and it does sound like it is really going to happen this time. It just seems like a very risky investment right now for miners to be investing into more GPUs when their profits could be cut into one-fourth in the not-too-distant future. So what I would say is that by the end of April, yes, it might be a good idea to buy certain SKUs. Now, SKUs like the RTX 3080, in the US may take an additional month or two to get themselves resolved, but for, you know, products such as a 6600 or 6700 XT might actually be a good purchase by then. So right now, honestly, even though GPU prices aren't too bad, I probably would give it at least another couple weeks to a month before considering purchasing something, as I do suspect these trends are going to continue, and I do think the GPUs have a lot more room to fall. But hey, you know what? There's always a little bit of a risk whether you're deciding to buy a GPU now or wait. There's a little bit of risk of, you know, GPUs could get more expensive, they could get less expensive, and that's something we don't 100% have the answer to. So ultimately, it's going to come down to when you think is going to be a good time to buy for you. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think GPUs are going to finally hit their MSRP, if ever? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.